I tell you what, the best predator proof lid like this thing, you can crawl across it no matter how high it is. And like, I, I just love these things. I'm always going to need another one. But check this out. Old Dash, my favorite girl. She's in here. Come here, girl. Ugh. I'm going to have to dig a hole for her to get out because they filled it in. It's worth it. Like, she'll freeze out here tonight. My goodness, it's cold enough. I just, it's going to get down to one, two Celsius above freezing <clears throat> temperatures. So I don't need her getting frozen. She's my favorite gal. She's the one that we got given as a family. Listen to pet shop inf information. And no matter how much you spritz, this is the shell you get. So uh, there's just different things to do and different ways to go about it if you want a smoother shell. which I'm trying to emulate with, with smaller hatchlings. So I'm hoping you all stay tuned and follow along. So, like Dash, you have to go inside tonight. The sun's going down and I can't risk you being out here. So we'll just scoot you back in there, there, honey. You're even cold, you don't want to walk. We'll just scoot you in there. Come on, my hon. All right, that is is the door. See, that's the only thing with this kitty door. I need a bigger door, is it doesn't. I bet you she tried to go back in. Uh-oh, that is, it's a good thing we checked that out. We'll have to fix that up tonight. So that's the problem with this kitty door, I can tell you that, is I'm gonna have to upgrade her to a larger door or dig this down better because it's always getting clogged up. And at this time of year, I just can't be having that. 